Warning, Grub Lake collecting is prohibited. Durman here with another special report. Today, I'm at Grub Lake in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania with the legendary author and geologist, Robert Beard. We are here in the summer heat. We're looking for something a little bit out of the ordinary. But first, Robert, how do you even say the name? I, it's like gooey thing, goat? Uh, I always call it dirtite. Gertite. And we can typically see it on the trail walking up here. It's like big, kind of black, heavy brown masses. And we can also find some, like uh, what I call Gertite bombs. Wow, very cool. And these aren't the most prettiest things in the world, so most people aren't really out there looking for this. But this has a very important place in Pennsylvania history. This lake is actually the historic site of the former Chestnut Hill iron ore mine. And in its peak, it produced 20,000 tons of ore per year. Today, Grub Lake is a hidden gem of the Pennsylvania Rockhound community. Like my lucky first find of the day, sticker number 25 of the Pennsylvania Rockhound Spots and Finds Facebook group, marking this as a great spot for a legendary rockhound like Robert, author of multiple rockhounding books, to teach me about girthite site number eight in his book. We keep walking, right now we can see the, the path is gray colored. It's gonna start turning brown up here. In fact, you can see the first sign of brown and that's part of uh, part of the original iron ore mine. See how it's turning color right here? Yeah, right here. Yeah. Huh, no kidding. There are lots of masses of iron ore as we're walking along the trail here. What's interesting about this is you can kind of see that bubbly type appearance. We see that in a lot of iron ore deposits. Now, this was a large rock that we just picked up just on the side of the trail here. Now, as I pointed out to Andrew, it's pretty pretty dense. We're going to actually break this apart. Okay. There it is. You can kind of see here, you see kind of like the shell right here. Sometimes we can find what are called gertite bombs that are almost like a big geode, but they've got kind of like a this band encloses everything and You'll have a lot of uh, gertite, and sometimes it's very smooth and with little stalactites in here. Uh, this is an interesting piece. It's kind of colorful, and it was worth cracking open, but it's um, not quite what we're still looking for here. According to the 1877 Geology of Lancaster County, only in one spot is a band three to four inches thick containing small but beautiful octahedral crystals. Everywhere else, the ore is the common brown peroxide of iron. This is what they would have uh, processed as iron ore. You can see all the hematite. You can see some of the gertite here. You can kind of see how the, you've got like some uh, circular patterns. This is the, the gully that I was telling you about. The drainage that was draining the far western end of the iron mine. Now we come over here too. You can walk down this path here. So it will take us right to the lake. This was one of these pieces of schist. It almost certainly had a like a what was formerly a pyrite cube, and it almost certainly was uh, became a, a pseudomorph of limonite after pyrite. But then it fell out. Yeah. So it probably, if we look on the ground here, we might even find find some of those cubes. Wait a minute. I think I got one. Yeah, that's a. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. I got a limonite pseudomorph. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Keep uh, on looking. Look at that iron, that red iron washing right out of that sand. So we've made our way a little farther up this little embankment, yeah. this little creek, and we've made it into a spot that completely changes color. Look at this. This is muscovite mica just weathering out and disintegrating, and this entire bank washing out this bright silver color. Come back over here. We're back to the brown and irony red dirt. But on this side, look at that. It gets bright silver. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and now we can see, you know, we're using our rocked app and now we're actually, we were actually right on the contact with uh, with the Antietam Formation, now it says that we're in the Cambrian Ledger Formation and we're in a Dolomite. 
We're actually in Dolomite. Yeah. That's well, awesome. That's what it's mapped as, but. Good spot. Yes. So we found a couple of nice candidates. This one's got some holes. It's got some vugs. I'd like to see this cracked open, so. Oh, hey, here we go. Here this we is go. what we're looking for here. You can see the smooth, yeah. curtite, and here's. Look how beautiful that piece is. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Has that distinct uh, mammillary type, almost like, like a mass of grapes. Yeah. It's like cutting a diamond. You have to know exactly where to hit it at. I know someone who knows all about that. Who's that? The legend Joe Suka. There we go. Ooh, look at oh, that Oh yeah, piece. look at that. Yeah. Well, now, this was totally worth breaking, as you can that see. That is nice. Isn't that cool? Look at those crystals, everybody. That's a girthite crystal right yep. there. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's very cool. Oh yeah, cool. but look at this. That is very cool. Isn't that, look isn't that, that. great? That's a, uh, that is uh, probably one of the best pieces I've found on this part of Grub Lake, de definitely. It just took a little more effort on our part to find it. I'm Dirt Man. And I'm Robert Beard. Bringing the geology to you. From here at Grub Lake in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, back to you, Jerry.